Peace and blessings, everybody, um, my gods and goddesses. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm trying to get this out early for YouTube. I have, a I think, another video and another podcast I want to give to you guys. So I'm like, why not start early, get some things done? Um, <clears throat> then I have to get up and get around the house. I'm technically still laying in bed. So... I hope you guys enjoy this, you know, trying to be more productive. I was definitely going through a lot and I just didn't have time to be productive on YouTube or my uh, podcast. So um, if you guys haven't already gone to my anchor um, podcast, Submissive Goddess, you can listen to that on Apple, Spotify, and some other platforms if you're interested. And we're just starting season eight over there. So I'm very excited about that. I'm going to give you guys the uncut raw <laughs> that I was giving in the first couple seasons. You know, I've just come to the conclusion I'm going to be the villain. And that's okay. You know, it's all right. There's nothing wrong with it. So I'm going to give you guys great content. And today, the content is going to be about, um, mm. <laughs> I don't even know what to title this. Uh, hmm. I honestly don't know what to title it, but we'll get there. So, I was going through um, YouTube and uh whatever else Twitter and Instagram and I'm just starting to see this is like a trend and I've seen it for a minute but I've tried to ignore it because it's gross all right um hmm. so the thing is these sex workers they come or can I even say that on YouTube um we're gonna call them SWs so the SWs come and they find trendy ways to get their stuff out there. Um, if you're going to, you know, sell yourself short, <laughs> then, OK, I guess you would need to go out there and kind of push your image and your content. Right. But on these platforms, it's just getting ridiculous because it's like, dude, kids use this stuff. Um, I don't agree with kids using it, but they do, you know, Um I, my children would never, but you know, it's 2022. So, okay. And, uh, they can simply scroll Twitter or Instagram and see porn and it's disgusting. Um, or Snapchat, right? And these are things that kids have access to because they have access to computers and, um, it's free. So no card information, or nothing like that. That's the problem. I think it needs to be something that people pay for. So that way, the people that really want to be up there can use it for what they want to use it for. And we know kids aren't going to have that access, um, you know, unless you're giving your kids debit cards, too. And it's getting a bit far if that's the, <laughs> if that's the case, but whatever. And I know some kids that are 16, 15 have workers permits and they might have a card. And uh, maybe that is um, a whole nother topic. But all right. So this is my thing here. You guys... The SWs are getting naked in public places. The one, um, the ones that I've seen, I can't even show on YouTube. I, I can't. I'm pretty sure they would just, hey, you got to go. You got to get out of here. So I found some stuff that I can show you and it's not, it's blurred out. So I shouldn't get in too much heat. So the first one I want to start with is a video first um, of someone at a sporting event. And I think this one is pretty popular. And I guess she was getting excited. You know, it's, a, it's I think it maybe might be football or baseball. And um, she decided to get a little wild and show her cleavage. So here we go. Now, this is a mom upset at the fact that she's showing her titties, okay, um, and flashing because she says she has kids nearby. And all the guys, of course, are backing the 
SW or loose woman. And it's disgusting. You know what I'm saying? They're, of course, they might be drunk. And then, of course, they disrespect. No, I don't really care because these people are pale skin. So I don't care. This is the type of drama they get into. So, you know, my thing is this. Is this appropriate? You see all the people looking. You see the woman sitting there with the child. And yeah, I don't know if the child saw or looked up or whatever. But that's the point. This is a child, right? And sorry if you hear my son. He's He might get up soon. This is a child. You're right beside a child showing your breast. Um, that would be called indecent exposure. It doesn't matter who's around. Um, and you can definitely get arrested for that. It's a misdemeanor. And I'll show you that it's a misdemeanor. And depending on where and all of this stuff or how they want to try you, it can go up to a felony and you can end up on the sex offender list. Um She's obviously fucking sick, drunk. Okay, fine. Doesn't matter. You can't control yourself and pull your body parts out. That shouldn't be shown in public. Um, in public because you're drunk. Like that means you don't need to be drinking. You don't need to be at functions around people because you can't control yourself, right? So after watching this, I said, let me make a video because it's it's disgusting, right? It's actually disgusting. Um, I'm all for a good time. I've just never been somewhere and lifted up my dress, pulled down my pants, pulled my cleavage out, showed my vagina, um, my crack, cheeks, nothing. Because I look good and I like to leave stuff to the imagination and then I'm not a freaking psycho. <laughs> so it doesn't really make sense for me to be pulling out all of my goods, you know, even if I was to go to New Orleans. I wouldn't have no beads because <laughs> I'm not going to pull out my titties. Do you know you can still go to jail in New Orleans and they can arrest you if they feel like it. It's just a culture down there. So people go down there to flash. But if somebody actually says something, then you can go to jail. You can get arrested. It's disgusting. Nobody wants to see your titties. Now, these been in this video. All right. We're, we're, they're savages anyway. So we already know how they get down. They're animals. So this is my thing. They all attacked the woman with the kids. I was complaining because, of course, they liked what they saw and they were protecting her. And they're like, come on, we're just having a good time. Like, it doesn't really matter. But it does matter. You know what I'm saying? What was the purpose? I don't care if it was if you had a million dollars on this game and you won and the person made a touchdown. and You're so excited. What, why pull out your titties? Out of all things to pull out, <laughs> why your boobs? It doesn't make sense, right? So then I'm like, let me look up some other stuff for this video. And like I said, it was just so much stuff. People having sex in public, um, around people that weren't part of their skit or their scheme. And they like, what the hell? A woman went to, um, and I see this one often, a black woman with what they like to call BBL wear. Okay, a Brazilian butt lift um, is when you get fat or silicone put into your butt to make it bigger. And they have this fashion wear now where um, the clothing is literally just for women that would have like uh, work done or BBL done. And it shows stuff that the average woman wouldn't show. This clothing is super revealing. It's really just a whole bunch of fabric put together, hardly showing stuff that shouldn't be shown. So they like to call that BBL fast fashion now. And um, that one was at a gas station and she had a bikini on, I mean, in the middle of a gas station. And she went over to a guy, um, a random stranger that was pumping gas, pulled, bent over and pulled her bikini down so he could see her ass crack, her butt, which was already out, in her vagina. And then she continued to rub on it and then pull up her stuff and walk away. While somebody was recording this, right? Another one was um, <laughs> a video of a woman going up to a gas station pump and sucking the actual pump. Okay, like she was sucking... Like she was getting fellatio, okay? Now, what she had on, I can't show. 
Okay. Um, it was hardly nothing. BBL fashion. And uh, this is what we've come to. Uh, these women, I checked, they do have only fans. Um, these women want you to see, hey, this is the type of content, right, that I put out. So you might want to go and check my OnlyFans because it gets wilder, but you just have to pay, right? And like I said, people have to put their stuff out there, but do you have to do it in public? Can you? Can it be in a secured area where everybody that's around um, you can make it look like it's the actual quote unquote public, but it's in a se- secured area, maybe like a backyard or your front yard or, you know, um, in like a, I don't even know, a studio or something where you can record this stuff where it's not actually affecting real people. So real people won't see you. Um, porn stars do it all the time. They um, cut off areas around so people can't come in and they make their scenes so it looks like they're in public having sex in cars or in the woods or on a football field but there's no one around they bought it out does that make sense so nobody can see that way you won't get charges you know but at this point it's like people love the thrill of the situation so they don't really care about anybody else and it's becoming very uh dangerous okay because it's dangerous because hey there are predators out there right so if somebody's saying hey i really um like what the fuck i see and i want it because you're putting it out there like it's for sale because it is you know sws and it's for sale so why the fuck not right so my thing is um hmm if somebody tries to come and take it and then all of a sudden it's their fault, come on now. Nobody should be showing that stuff. That stuff is saying, come get it. That's what it's saying. Now, I'm not an advocate for sexual assault or abuse or anything, right? <clears throat> Only thing I'm saying is when you dress respectable, you get respected. Um, there's, like I said, it's people out here that will try to attack you no matter what. That's just how people are, right? Right. But when you're advertising it and showing stuff and you're not even charging the person for seeing it, what if they react and smack your ass or put their fingers in your vagina since you got it all out? You you, you get it? Like what? Like what? the? <laughs> I don't know. It definitely seems like logic to me that I just wouldn't be doing this shit because I don't want to turn anybody on and then I don't want to get in trouble and I don't want to offend anybody because just because I like what I got doesn't mean other people's going to think, hey, I like that too, you know? I mean, yuck. Some people don't even like feet. Some people don't even like noses. So you're telling me I should just go out here and flash a random person. There's been other videos of um, people having sex um, and a part of Walmart, they're literally, he really has his penis out. She has, um, a dress up and they're fucking on the fucking noodle aisle. What is wrong with y'all? Are y'all good? It's starting to seem like mental illness, like animals, you know, animals have sex everywhere because they live outside. You know what I'm saying? So if they want to get it on right then, they just going to boom, get hard and get it on. And, and to produce, you know, y'all are doing this shit for views and risking jail time and being on the sex offenders list, fucking in a grocery store. Anybody can be in a grocery store. And do y'all realize that there are cameras everywhere that actually work? They work. They work. You're doing all of this just to sell coochie and penis on freaking OnlyFans. This is this is it. This is what y'all this is it. I don't understand. Like, what in the fuck? Okay, so you guys might know um, this other... I cannot recall her name. Um, mm. But she um, drives around in her car. And I know the car smells like a seafood market. But she'll be ordering food at Taco Bell or in the McDonald's drive through or outside. Broad daylight. And she will literally play with herself. And I know a lot of people tried to ban her off um, Twitter and it didn't work. Or I don't know if she came back or not. But yeah, 
um, I really can't remember her name, but I'm not going to give her no advertisement anyway. But she literally will be ordering food or people walking around her and she will be squirting all in her fucking car. I'm talking about coochie out, no pants on. Um, like I said, you can only imagine how it smells in that car because there's no way you're getting up all that squirt. I'm not even being funny, <laughs> but it's no fucking way. I hope she get her car extremely detailed because after everyone, because first of all, after you squirt, you have to ride your dumb ass home in silence in a puddle. In a puddle. You have to sit your stupid ass in a puddle and drive home. And then you have to contact somebody or get back in the car if you don't wash your ass, hopefully, to go and get your car detailed. So you're just sitting in squirt which is a certain amount of piss. So you're sitting in piss and squirt and fluids and that's sexy, right? Because it's for OnlyFans. This this is this is it. These are the queens. These are the queens. These are the people that have all these followers and all of these loyal people that will donate and stuff because they truly people are mentally ill. They like that shit. They want to do that shit. They think it's nothing wrong with it, so they're hyping it. It's just unhygienic. You're in a car where you touch stuff, you grab money, you know what I'm saying? You grab food, you do things, you carry stuff, you ha- you make groceries, you touch your steering wheel, and the same steering wheel that you're, that you're touching, you got your toys in the car, fucking yourself, squirting all over your car. The smells, like, come on, you guys, this is disgusting. And like I said, you can be having sex in a car and get a charge. It doesn't matter where you are. You can be in a 7-Eleven drive, not drive through, but um, parking lot, uh, McDonald's drive through at the park, at the beach, at Lover's Lane. You can get a charge anywhere. You're not supposed to be fucking in your car, playing with yourself in the car. Anybody could walk up. You see what I'm saying? Now, this next lady here. As you can see, we are at Walmart. All right, we're at Walmart. And her, I'm not going to give her any type of publicity. Um, Her caption on Twitter, because this is Twitter. She said, who loves public nudity? That's a charge, you dumb fuck. You know what it is. I'm starting to think that the people that do the sex, mm, the SWs, I'm starting to think that they are mentally slow right? Um, these are the people that you would be in school and the, the, um, learning disability classes, they will be walking in a line, but they will have like four teachers for like eight students because they were just out of control. And some of them will pee on themselves or, um, hold their, you know, lift their shirts up or in the gym when they have to do PE, they would get butt booty ball naked. Because they didn't know any different. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't know. They didn't know what was going on. So I think those people have turned into adults. And we think that they are um, great members of society when really they are the bottom of the barrel. The scum. You know, the dark shit under the barrel. Um, That's really sticky and gross that roaches be eating. That these are the people. All right? Those people um, have grown up and no one taught them any different. And they honestly, uh, the girls that chew gum really loud and um, never got good grades and went to, you know, had to go to the remedial classes and just dropped out and realized, oh, people like my boobs. Let me (laughs) make an OnlyFans to make money because I have nothing else going for me. Um, The girls that were fast in school and uh, bullied other people or some shit, you know, but they had like a. A body on them at a young age, like just mentally just screwed and thought their body could get them everywhere. These are the people. That's what I'm starting to think. There's some screws loose. There's something not there. There's something not right. Right. Like I said, we're at motherfucking Walmart and I know Walmart when I fucking see it. Um, We're in the kids section at Walmart. This is where the fuck we are. The Play-Doh is over here for 50 cents. You got dolls. You got the little um, rainbow puppy on the shelf. The hula hoops. This is the girl section of fucking Walmart. And this girl has her whole ass out. 
I'm talking about everything's exposed. Sticking her tongue out, smiling, cameras. As you can see, top or top left camera, further down cameras. Like what the hell? This is insane. You know what I'm saying? Like this same girl, different store, looking like maybe a Family Dollar, um, some convenience store or something, maybe mm, CVS or something. Where should I strip next? This is, this is it? <laughs> this is, they, these are the women that y'all, I can't. I can't. Where should I strip next? In public. And the raunchiest places to strip. Like, if you're going to be showing your body, it needs to be in a top tier area. If you really want to be an SW, you know, if you really want to be out here whoring, then do it in the best possible fashion. I don't condone it. I'm just saying you look very nasty and cheap. And look at the cheap fur jacket. Like, what are we doing here? Nothing on the shelves. At least post yourself behind in front of some some stock shelves. Let us know where we can get some food. It's so many other things going on. And you sitting here on the water aisle of a freaking family dollar with one DiGiorno pizza in the background. Is everything okay? Are I, like what? And now here we are. I'm pretty sure this is Dollar General. This man is walking up with her whole ass. She And she's in the ice cream section around sodas where people got to drink these sodas with your nasty ass out. With the tongue out too. Nasty. And this fugazi ass coat. Uh, suede fur. Like what is going on? And just whole crack and vagina out. And this dirty ass Dollar General. What are we doing? That's why I don't think everything is like mentally okay with these people because why? Like you can make great content in the privacy of your home. If you have a garage, you can fuck in the car in the garage because it's still technically your house. You got a backyard um, that's secluded. Make some, you know, set it up nice where it's like an oasis and fuck back there. Bro, I what this is just disgusting like i said this this is cameras all these cameras and these mirror orbs on the fucking ceiling help the cameras see better they get they see all you they see everything you do and your nasty ass got your nasty ass and the ass is not anything special you're not missing anything it's discolored and it looks like it has a smell and i, I can't and you got the nerve to be touching on handles, knowing that you had to pull your pants down and pull your pants up. You touching inside your underwear, inside your pants, where your mm, where your vagina and your buttocks was resting. So you have remnants of things and you touching stuff. It's disgusting. This is the world we live in where people like this think that this is cute enough and funny enough to make content with and mess with the public. Like this guy is unknowing just coming into the shot. What the fuck? And I want to say he has a Dollar General vest on or something. But yo, what is this? I... <sighs> Conviction of a first offense for indecent exposure is usually a misdemeanor. However, repeat misdemeanor offenders can result in a felony conviction. The number of prior convictions that will trigger a felony charge for a subsequent um, offense varies per state. You can get arrested for indecent exposure and that can lead you on the sex offender registry. Even if you flash breast, uh, breast sorry, or genitals as a joke. Or go streak as a dare. Those harmless. <laughs> those harmless. <laughs> bro. Where's the other one? Those harmless. Look at that. Harmless people. 
harmless. Those harmless intentions could possibly mean you end up on the sex offender registry. (sighs) Why? It's so many other, that's what I don't get. It's so many other things you can do. You know, go to, okay, they have these things called nude beaches. They have nude communities. They have a whole bunch of um, sex clubs that you can go to and you can do a lot. You know what I'm saying? Go there, rent one of those out, right? Or ask, hey, could I rent this section off? Um, and me and my friends kind of like record an orgy. They will allow that. That's where you do that type of stuff. Not at Dollar General. Not at fucking baseball, football games. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? This is sick. This is gross. Where should I strip next? Jail. (laughs) Bro, I'm all for fuck the cops. That's me. I'm fine. Whatever. You know, a lot of people that's black people that are in jail don't even deserve to fucking be there. You know what I'm saying? But this bitch right here. No, she deserves it. She she deserves this. She deserves jail time, bro. This is a kid section of Walmart. She's a pedophile. That's that. This is pedophile behavior because you could have went anywhere else. You could have went to the lingerie section. It's like, why here? Why not go to a sex store where kids not are allowed and do that? You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be doing this shit at all. But I'm thinking, what made her think I'm gonna go to the kids section? Is it not predatory thoughts in the first place? But you know what? I, I say stuff like this on Twitter and then oh you're hating what I can show my own ass in my house I don't understand everybody has restrictions like that's part of life why are you going against said restrictions for what clout fame fortune you're not gonna get it selling this it doesn't make sense those people that like this are showing you, hey, I like that because I like, um, how can I even say this? People that like shit like this and the kids aisle, they're telling you something else. It's more, it's deeper than what you think. And you're feeding it. You're adding more fuel to that fire. Like, what's the point? What's the difference between a man going and showing his penis and the toy section or show, go into a toy section on purpose to try to find a kid and show his penis to. What's the difference here? Because a kid could walk around the corner right there and see that and be scarred. The same thing. I just want to let y'all know, um, jail. Y'all deserve jail. That's what y'all deserve. This is gross. This is disgusting. White cave bees did it right in front of a fucking child. And then she's doing it in the fucking toy store. Y'all deserve jail. Like I said, um, anytime that you mess with the black community to a point where the kids are being scarred or you're coming off as a murderer or rapist or a pedophile, I'm a, I just fine. Do whatever the white people want to do with you. You deserve that. This is sick. We need to be coming together, um, not with all of these dysphoria wars and all of the bullshit. We need to be coming together as a people to get these type of people the fuck out of our community. This type of people right here, out of our community. She ain't in our community. Out of our community. She needs to fucking go. People like this that have no boundaries and do not care about anything but themselves and a dollar are dangerous. This is very sick. And I know a lot of people were in the comments saying this is weird. This is some pedophile shit. And I agree, it is. But not everybody agrees with that. And those are the type of people we need to get the fuck out of our shit. We're never going to expand with our women doing this and acting like this and thinking this is okay. That's all I wanted to do with this video. Just show you guys there are women out here that think this is cute. This is deeper than anything else. Okay, she doesn't love herself. She's going to show her ass for money. 
and all this other stuff, fine, do that, fine, whatever. You've already lost on that. But to put it in a toy section in front of our kids in our community, like we know black people be in Walmart, kids be in this toy store. Like, come on, we all grew up at Walmart and Kmart and Target toy stores. Like, come on, this is sick. I wouldn't be surprised if she's done this around kids. It's disgusting. But anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely have um, more coming. And yeah, I'm going to show my face soon. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, I just want to find the proper video to do it. But I hope you guys are enjoying my voiceovers. They're just as informational because I do still want to get my content out there. Um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And let me know if you guys want some merch. I'm thinking about some gods and goddesses merch you know the little logo on it and maybe some little sayings or whatever but let me know in the comments also let me know what you guys want to talk about next uh yeah you know just throw some topics out there appreciate you guys for sticking in there with me through this writer's block situation and my health but i greatly appreciate you guys and um i will see you in the next one